Hi, this is Prasanna from Ava Academia. In this video, we are going to discuss how to develop a model of electric vehicle battery cutoff system. It is always a good practice to maintain the battery SOC between 10 to 90 percentage. That means you can charge the battery up to 90 percentage of state of charge. Similarly, you can discharge the battery only up to 10 percentage. If you maintain the state of charge between 10 to 90 percentage, then you can easily increase the lifetime of your battery. This is applicable for all lithium ion batteries, batteries in mobile phones, laptops, electric vehicles. It's a common procedure. So now we'll move on to the MATLAB. In this part, where I'm going to develop a model to create a cutoff solution, to create a cutoff uh, circuit. Once the battery reaches 20 percentage, the battery will be automatically cut off with the load. So hereafter, once the state of charge reaches 20 percentage, you cannot drive your vehicle. So that will be the concept of this video. So let me take a battery first. So it's a simple battery. I'm just taking lithium and battery. Whatever the nominal voltage I'm using as per default one 7.2 volts and the rated capacity is 5.4 volts. But only change what I'm do what I'm doing is I'm changing the initial state of charge from 100 to 40 because I'm starting my battery with 40 percentage. I'm going to check once it reaches 20 percentage how the circuit is going to be work. So to reduce the time, I'm just reducing the initial state of charge from 100 to 40. If you are doing, you can go with 100 percentage, but it will take time. That's all. Just click apply. Similarly, I'm taking one more battery. I'm connecting the battery in a series connection. We take a terminator. You can connect it here. Therefore, it it does not show any any kind of warnings. Now I'm going to measure the state of charge. You need a bus selector. So from this bus selector, I'm going to measure only state of charge. So once the state of charge of battery is measured, then you can compare that with your limit. Let me take a greater than symbol. So what this greater than will do is, the output of greater than is, it's a boolean. It either will produce 1 or 0. So when the first input is greater than second input, it will give you 1. When the first input is lesser than second input, it will produce zero as output. So let me take a set point. So whenever my state of charge is lesser than 20 percentage, this is my cutoff SOC. Then I'm going to connect the output with a switch. That switch is nothing but it is a MOSFET. I don't want the M port, so I'm disabling this M port. I'm simply connecting the switch 
between the source and the load. Let me take a load as a resistive load. From that resist series oral branch, I am selecting only the resistor and I am making the resistor value as 10 ohms. So here I am going to connect the switch between my source and the load. If you want to measure the current as well as voltage, then you can add the current sensor as well as voltage sensor accordingly. So current measurement that should be connected in series with the load. Voltage measurement. This is nothing but the state of charge. Make the tag visibility as global. Similarly, take from tag. The first input will be connected with the current, and second one is voltage. And the third one will be state of charge. So now I am closing the loop. Whenever the state of charge is greater than the cutoff voltage, the switch will be in on state. Whenever the state of charge will falls less than 20 percentage, automatically it will goes to off. So now I am connecting the loop. That's it. And we need a power guy. Power guy is mandatory. Let me check the values once again. Yes. And change the stop time of at least 5000 seconds. Just changing the background. Now this circuit is ready for execution. Once you run it, if you look at the scope and go to view, make it as a layout.
the first one will be voltage second first one is current second one is voltage third one will be the state of charge yeah this one is first one is current measurement second one is voltage measurement third one is state of charge measurement so from this you can keep to know that whenever the state of charge see it i am started the simulation from 40 percentage of state of charge once the state of charge reaches 20 percentage automatically the voltage as well as the current falls to zero that means that the switch will go to off state so this is the way actually the load is disconnected from the source so what will happen if you do this kind of procedures in your vehicle it will improve the lifetime of the battery Okay, some organization may fix with 20 percentage, some may fix with 10 percentage, 5 percentage, depends upon the requirement, you can develop this model. So this model will be really helpful to you to protect your battery in electric vehicle. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Do you have, if you have any queries, kindly drop a mail to this mail. Thank you.